Welcome to DOA for Homeowners by Mother Daughter Projects. I'm Steph. I'm Vicki. And today we're in Steph's backyard and we're here for round two of killing the weeds with 30% vinegar. One year ago, we tested out the 30% vinegar technique and it worked really well, but it wasn't super scientific because prior to using it, we had actually pulled up some weeds and we weren't really remembering where we used the 30% and where we didn't because we have weeds back, but we think we have weeds back in the areas where we pulled them up and we didn't use the mixture. So this time we're going to actually no, first, know the type of weeds mm -hmm. we have. We've actually gotten the names of the weeds. And second, we're gonna do the whole backyard so that we know for a fact what has um, what has worked and what hasn't. And um, throughout the video, we're also gonna answer some of your questions for the from the first video that we made because it's been pretty popular mm -hmm. with lots of questions. But what's the most number one question we get, Mom? <laughs> number one question that we get, where do you get that 30% vinegar? And every single time we say, got it on Amazon. <laughs> so to clarify, we are using 30% vinegar. It's not something that you normally see in the mm -hmm. store. Uh, you normally see 5% vinegar. And the what we got was actually from Amazon. We've also seen it in the Home Depot at various times of the year. But 30% vinegar, and it costs more than regular 5% vinegar. Um, but that 5% is not gonna work. Yeah, the 5% really need a 30. Exactly, so that's what we're using today, and let's get started. We're gonna start out by making our mixture. The 30% vinegar is the superstar, but we need to add a couple other ingredients to make the mixture. We're gonna be filling a one gallon garden sprayer, but our mixing container is only a half a gallon. So we started by putting a half cup of table salt and filled the rest with 30% vinegar. We mixed it until it felt like the salt was dissolved and poured this half into the sprayer. Then we repeated this process, a half a cup of salt and the rest vinegar. But this time we added a big squirt of Dawn dishwashing liquid. And the second most asked question is what is the recipe? So here it is. We also got a lot of questions about what types of weeds this destroys. So we use the Picture This app to identify our weeds. We're gonna start by showing you the specific weeds we identified while we were spraying with the mixture, and then after 48 hours, what the weeds look like. We were asked when this should be applied, and for this to be effective, it needs to be on a very sunny day with no rain in the forecast. Another common question is what about Epsom salt in place of table salt? A viewer commented and said they tried Epsom salt and it didn't work. Another viewer said Epsom salt is used as a nutrient for plants, so therefore it would not be useful in this mixture. We had a lot of questions on the types of weeds this destroys, and like I said, we have a list of the ones that worked and were destroyed with this mixture. Uh, also, a viewer commented and said it only works on certain weeds, some are completely resistant. And a couple of viewers commented that it worked on their crabgrass, their blackberries, and their thistles. There are a huge number of chamber bitter weeds in my backyard, which are pretty easy to pull up by the roots, but those that we pulled up by the roots last year are back again this year. And those that we used the vinegar mixture on last year seem to have not come back. Somebody asked if it has to be Dawn dishwashing liquid, and the viewer commented and said no, any kind of liquid detergent will work. Its function is to make the salt and vinegar mixture adhere to the plant rather than quickly running off. A lot of people asked if anything will grow where the salt is applied. A viewer commented that it kills the plant so it will never grow again. Of course, a new plant or weed could come along and grow there unless you use a lot of salt, which will damage the soil and stop anything from growing there, which is why a driveway or sidewalk is perfect for this method. We also had a question a little unrelated, but if we had any tips or video on how to repel cats. They said that the street cats come to their yard and poop every day. We don't really have any good tips, but we will say that the resident greyhound here at uh, my house that poops and pees in my backyard has really taken care of any cats from visiting my backyard. This is video from our first application a year ago. I want you to notice the amount of weeds in this one particular area. And this is a view after the weeds were dead and pulled out of the ground. And this is today. You can see far less weeds came back. In fact, we might have pulled some of these weeds last year and didn't actually treat them. So overall, I would say this is a significant improvement from last year. All these vine type weeds died really easily. Also, all the common carpet grass browned up nicely. And I think this is Southern Dewberry and it browned very fast. We also had a bunch of bucket grass that was taken care of with this mixture along with Carolina Pony's Foot. And yes, I never knew there were so many names for weeds. Also a cool feature of the picture this app is if you have a plant you're identifying, it will tell you if it's hazardous to dogs. 
This is the front yard from last year and we had a lot of overgrown grass on the rocks. You can see it browned nicely last year and this year we had very little return and what did return we easily browned up with the mixture. Now these three plants, I'm not sure what they are, but you can see they were very much alive and 48 hours later, they were dead and withered. The one that turned black is actually not a weed, but a plant that we didn't want to come back next year. What, what we, we learned. learned. Well, it's 48 hours later and almost every single thing that we sprayed is now brown and brittle and dry. It looks like it worked. <laughs> we, as we showed you in the video, the areas that we sprayed with the 30% vinegar last time, those, there wasn't weeds in those areas this time. So we're hoping that this method works to actually inhibit the growth of weeds for many seasons to come, at least a year we found mm -hmm. out. Um, so we'll catch you up in a year from now and we'll see how this has gone as well. Now you have to be really careful about the plants that you want to keep because um, we did kill off one of the ferns. We got a little too close. Be mindful of overspray and I tried to spray away from the plants and doing that, I was pretty, I was pretty good about yeah. not getting it on the yeah. plants. I would consider this a method that would be permanent if you want to grow something else in that spot. Yeah. I would not put it in a garden yeah. or any place like that. You know, one place that was really, really good was the year ago when we did this, mm -hmm. we did it in your driveway. Oh yeah, there is nothing there. So that's like a perfect example. Mm -hmm. And then my backyard is all full of rocks. And so it's perfect example with my backyard because I don't want to grow stuff between the rocks. I want it to just be rock. It's perfect method for th things like that. But keep in mind, if don't, I wouldn't use it in a flower bed or something. Wouldn't use you're, it in your grass. Exactly. Yes. I would just pull the weeds yes. in, in that case. Yes. Well, we will update you in another year. We'll keep this saga going and, and uh, keep you updated with the weeds of my yard. <laughs> so thanks for joining us. If you want to see that original video that we made, you there will be a link right here. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. I can't wait to start pulling weeds. Oh, the dead ones. The dead yeah. Oh yeah, I can't we're, wait to do that. We're gonna pull the dead ones. I'm I, gonna do that while you're gone. Mom loves to pull weeds while I'm, I'm gone. Sure. She'll do that. I'm gonna <laughs> do that, yes.